Okay, so here's my actual uh, Silverlight as a view engine application. All Silverlight uh, projects have a Silverlight um, project where you define your Silverlight um, page. This is page XAML. XAML is the, uh, the Silverlight markup language. Uh, and it also has a web application associated with it. And this is my web application. Um, and the web application actually does the hosting. Now it turns out that this web application um, is an MVC web application. So you can see controllers here. Um, you can see uh, models here, the Northwind database model. But what you don't see here is any views that I made. Um, these views here, that's empty, uh, these views here are the standard views that come with the account and the home controller. Um, but uh, we don't have anything for the category because the category is actually, um, the view for the category is being done by Silverlight. So let's run the application to begin with and um, we'll just see how it works. Um, notice that it is loading a page called Silverlight underscore MVC test page ASPX and we're waiting for something to happen here. Uh, the page is loading and as the page loads uh, the Silverlight application asks the view uh, engine, uh, the Silverlight view engine to go and, um, uh, excuse me, asks the uh, controller to go out and uh, and get the data which as we saw in the prior video was the JSON object and now it's being rendered inside my Silverlight application itself. Um, when I click on condiments again we go out and do a database search which was pretty fast um, and we get a set of products and when we pick a specific product um, for example this veggie spread we get more information about the veggie spread. So that's that's the view you're seeing, and this is a you know this this is not a a highly uh, hyped um, Silverlight application. It's a pretty uh, generic Silverlight application. So let's let's go and see what's happening in, inside here. Uh, first of all, let's look at this um, uh, Silverlight underscore MVC test page ASPX. This is the one that I said uh, is loaded, and right down here. Um, you can see that it's uh, actually, this is the definition for hosting uh, the Silverlight uh, plugin. Uh, it's getting it from um, um, the client bin, the, the zap file, which is actually stored in the client bin, which is right here, uh, is the thing that has been compiled and sent down from up here. So that's how that's being passed down and available to my web page. Um, the actual page itself, the XAML, looks like this. Again, if you don't uh, know much about silver light, uh, this may look mysterious to you, but um, here's a list box. It contains my categories. Um, here's another list box. It contains my products. And, uh, and this is the product details um, down here. Uh, it's a stack panel with a grid inside of it. So those are the three main components in my uh, XAML, my actual XAML VB code. Um, this is what we saw earlier. This is what is called when the page uh, loading starts off. And this sends me off to the category controller and the list action. And again, the category controller is right here. And the list action is right there. So this is the thing that's doing the, uh, see, this ought to be inside my model, by the way. So uh, excuse me for that. But this goes and gets the data and then returns it as a uh, JSON uh, string. And, um, and when that comes back, it takes the JSON string and turns it into a series of cats. Catalog, uh, category entries and then puts that inside the category listing. Here's the selection changed event for that category listing. Again, it takes me to my, um, my controller. It goes to the products action of the category controller. Category controller products action gets some information on products, uh, returns that information uh, as a JSON uh, object comes back. 
um, and this uh, this undoes the uh, the serialization and puts it into the uh, product list. And then we have a product list selection changed. Um, we actually already have the product. Uh, the product's already there for us. Uh, so we just take it out of this uh, the list box uh, right here. Go to the list box and get the selected item. Uh, convert it to a product. And we take that product and we display the information that we need from that uh, inside the product detail uh, stack panel. So that's that's what's happening here. Um, I tried to put some breakpoints in here to show the JSON coming back and stuff like that, but it doesn't seem to want to stop at those breakpoints. Um, uh, but um, if you're familiar with Silverlight and you're now familiar with MVC, you can see how we're using the uh, MVC model uh, with the exception the V, the view, is being handled by Silverlight.